look at the PCI DSS or really any other security framework, um, it really boils down to kind of a, a simple philosophy. If you don't need it, if it's not required, let's just simply get rid of it. And we look to apply the same methodology and the same practice around the hardening of your systems. So we have a requirement that says that only the necessary um, services and, and the applications uh, should be installed and running on these assets. Uh, if you need a service running, if you need an application running and installed on that, app, on that server, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. However, if it's not required, if it's not needed, we expect it to be removed. We look at hardening standards. And we look within your hardening standards and your hardening guidelines to define what is it that we really need in order to secure these applications and that nothing else has then been installed or is running. So what we do for this assessment is that we look at your hardening standards and your hardening guidelines because these documents specifically will outline how you want your operations to be run and how these assets should be configured. We then take that back and we look at what's been installed and what's running. And if there's something there that's running uh, or something that's been installed that's not on your hardening guidelines, your assessor should ask why that is. What we often find within the organization is that people will stand up a server or stand up an application and it's running you know, based on its default environment. Uh, which is, uh, you know, in some situations might be okay, in others maybe not so much. So effectively what we want to do is we want to do a full inventory of what's running on these systems from the default install. As a given example, in the Microsoft environment, you'll also find that we have uh, services such as uh, themes running or you might have Windows Audio running. We often encounter that. And when I look and I see that Microsoft themes or, or these default services are running, it really brings into question for me from the assessor perspective if you've really hardened your boxes, if you've really done the due diligence to remove all of those services and all of those applications and everything that isn't required for that system to operate. If we find that there are, we're going to ask questions uh, and look for you then to, if it is required, then to update your documentation to support that appropriately.